A Lubbock man is behind bars tonight facing murder charges after police say he stabbed his girlfriend and killed her early this morning. Our Emily Harrison is live in West Lubbock with the latest. Now, Emily, do police know what led up to the stabbing? They do, John and Terry. They tell me that 29-year-old Justin Deshaun Jackson is in custody for the murder of 35-year-old Shonda Carson. Police say this started out as just an argument, but got quickly out of control. She was screaming that she was stabbed. She didn't know what was going on. She couldn't handle it. She was scared. Police found Carson on the kitchen floor laying in a pool of blood, scared that she was going to die. Her cousin Annette Brown says she still can't understand why this happened. He took a mother from her kids and she took he took my family member over some that could have been somebody could have walked away from it started around midnight when a call was made about a domestic disturbance the arrest warrant says a witness heard Jackson threaten Carson saying if he couldn't have her no one could experts say threats like this are common in abusive relationships despite what they might be told and blamed for it's not their fault we tend to ask like well, why didn't they get out? Why didn't they leave? Um, we do that without knowing all the facts. Garcia works with 4,000 women and children here in Lubbock to get away from their abusers. And he tells me that Chandra is not unique and to know the warning signs before it's too late. I love Lubbock and I love our area. And um, this isn't just not unique to Lubbock. This is a, this is a, a worldwide epidemic, really. Ask yourself some questions like, am I afraid of this person, you know? constantly or, or at times am I afraid of this person and do I walk around on eggshells avoiding certain topics because I know they will go off on me. Police say that Jackson actually admitted to his mom that he did in fact stab Carson and that he was scared that she was dead. Now Jackson is being held at Lubbock County Jail and police are still investigating. Reporting live in West Lubbock back to you guys John and Terry. Thanks Emily. Oh